Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It just occurred to me that it is Sunday at 3 a.m. and I usually post on Sundays, but I work tonight, so I was like, oh crap, let me film a video real quick and edit it so that I can have it posted and go to sleep because when I'm preparing for um, a night shift, I start like kind of like sleeping later in the day. So instead of going to bed at my normal time, like 11 o'clock when I'm in, um, like during the week when I'm in school, when I know I have to work, I'll start to sleep a little later, like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. That way I can sleep in. Not that I have an issue, I just want to make sure that I don't oversleep or undersleep. So anyways, that's not the point of this video. I'm going to get to it now. I apologize for the outfit. My fiance puts the AC at level arctic, so I'm really cold at night. So anyways, moving on. The purpose of this video is to talk about time management in CRNA school. If you guys are interested, let's get into the nitty gritty. best um, at my time management but I do want to tell you the steps that I'm taking to improve my process and also um, how I've been able to streamline myself and my mental like what's the word I want to use my mental like distractions um, I've been using them kind of like as study breaks so anyways while I'm in the in my school weeks like I head out to Naples on Monday nights around 5.30. I like to go out before it gets too dark. Um, I don't like driving in the dark. Um, so I leave around 5.30, I get to my mom's house and I usually set aside something that I know isn't gonna take me that long or something that I wanna designate only a few hours to because my mom so graciously always makes me dinner when, I'm arri when I arrive. And by the time I end up like sitting down at the computer, it's usually like 8 p.m. So I put in a solid two, maybe three hours on Mondays. Um, but then on during the week, like Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't really get much done. Um, I'm kind of burned out during the week anyways. So what I try to do is start planning, like during uh, the school week, I start planning for what I'm gonna do for the weekend. Um, I have made a video before about how I manage my work-life balance and I've talked about what a typical week is like. If you want, you can check out that video. I'll add a card for that. But I do wanna talk about like my, my methods and what I've been doing to better myself with the time management. Um, so I mentioned earlier for this semester anyway that they, you know, they always give you a syllabus, but in the syllabus it talks about the study, not the study, wow, the assignments that they have aside from what you need to do in terms of like for the test, but like the busy work pretty much. And I had mentioned that my goal was to finish the busy work by week five. I did pretty good on that. I just still have, I had two things left that just kept on lingering on my little checklist over there and this weekend I decided that enough was enough like I had said week five was gonna be the week but I'm already in week 10 and I still haven't finished them <laughs> but they aren't due until well the last one that I have left isn't due until week 13 but it sounds like I have three weeks to do it you're right that's how it sounds but I have two exams in week 12 and one exam in week 13. So I really don't want to be worrying um, the weekend before um, the two exams about the busy work or finishing the busy work in the same week that I'm studying for the week 13 test. So I figure since I'm going into week 11 starting on Monday that I should be done with the busy work by tonight. So I'm not going to go to bed <laughs> until I finish my literature review because that is the last thing I have. So get this, I was talking to my classmates this week and everyone was talking about how they're almost done with their med chart. The med chart is what I mentioned um, earlier in my busy work stuff. It's the first cart, uh, first drawer of your anesthesia cart. Um, the professor wanted us to go over the mechanism of action, the use, the peak, onset, duration, the half-life, how it's metabolized and eliminated, the contraindications and adverse reactions. So for each drug that's in that top um, drawer he wanted us to do that and there was about like 50 something drugs so I had it there just lingering I formatted it I took the time to format it I want to say in like week four or so maybe even week five and it, I swear the formatting took me like a solid two hours literally just making the boxes and like putting everything in alphabetical order how I want to do it but not actually adding the information 
and I was talking to my classmates and everyone was saying how they were almost done with it and I had not quite started. I mean, the formatting was a bit, a bit of time consuming, but I hadn't actually like sat down and started typing. And man, when I got to it, I did one drug and it took me like, you know, five or six minutes to do the drug because I have to look up all that information and some sources don't have all the information that I need, whatever, whatever. So I started to panic. I was like, oh my God, there's 50 something drugs and I only have 12 days to until it's due. Why would I do this? I, I had a game plan. I made that video about my semester two game plan and I didn't stick to it and now I am stressed. So what I did was, was it Thursday night? I think Wednesday night, Thursday night, Wednesday night, no. Wednesday night, all of Thursday and Friday, I worked on the med chart. I said, I need to be done by Friday on this med chart. So I did, and I literally sat there for days, <laughs> but I finished it. So I'm excited to say that I finished one set of busy work that I thought was gonna be impossible. By the time I finished, the font I used was like size eight in order to fix, fit into all the boxes. It was 20 pages. So that's done. And now I'm working on my literature review. It's a 10 page paper. I usually am good with papers. Um, I just haven't found that little motivation to do it. Um, but I said I won't be able to move on until I finish it because I don't wanna be worrying about it next week. Now, I work tonight. I said that already, I work tonight. So what I'm gonna do is set aside some stuff to study while I'm at work. Like if I have a 15 minute break, 30 minute break here and there, maybe some downtime, I'm gonna review some lectures. So what I like to do during the week while I'm in school, I, I have in my planner, what I want to accomplish for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And I've been pretty good about following or sticking to it. Um, I have like, you know, all this little check boxes. And then when I don't do it, I, you know, make sure to put it for the next day or whatnot. But I don't try to like beat myself up about it if I don't get to it. Like Friday night, <laughs> I need to stop eating Chick-fil-A. Friday night or something like that, I had Chick-fil-A no, Wednesday night, I had Chick-fil-A and my stomach was trash. I had this stomach pain. I do have irritable bowel disease. Um, so I had this terrible stomach pain that it was just like a cramping, gnawing, aching pain. And I've had it before. And uh, when I've gone to get it checked out, it's been some sort of inflammatory bowel issue. Um, so I knew I needed to do some belly rest and whatnot, but I ended up with a super bad headache and I just couldn't get out of bed. I was in the fetal position. So really all I could accomplish was that med chart, like anything more. And my, my, I just wasn't there because I was in so much pain in my stomach. And thankfully I've been just eating <laughs> straight chicken. Um, I'm much better now. So I'm able to work on other things and whatnot so you have to take into account you know being a mentally capable physically capable to do all the things that you set yourself up to do um there are setbacks and that's okay <laughs> we live life and we move on but i just wanted to say that what i feel is essential is little to-do lists short to-do lists not anything that's like so overwhelming that you dread it but something that you at least do a little here and there. So like I said for this literature review that I wanted to be done with it by this weekend, but honestly, I've been working on it. I I did a few parts of the literature review. So right now it's literally just filling in the fluff and then I'll be done. I have like about four pages there, but I swear it's like I start talking about the sources and I, I'll be way further along than I really need to be but anyway moving on so what I want to get out of this video is that set aside small goals that you want to get done throughout your time off before you have class again because they're just going to bombard you with more material more assignments more things to do so it's best to make sure that you're on top of them not to let things slip away but um, like as we've been going throughout the semester, like I have this one patho class and he assigns workbooks, which are great because the workbooks are pretty much studying for the exam. And I love that, but he assigned one, um, this past week and it was very, very time consuming. So uh, along with the med chart, I've been working on the, it's a renal workbook. And I spent the majority of today working on the workbook as well as the literature review. So that's what I'm trying to get at that. They start adding more things, more things, more things. So moving on. Um, 
yeah, I can't believe I'm going to be starting week 11. I appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. Um, literally, the comments that you guys have been sending me are amazing. I'm sorry if I don't get back to you right away. I kind of have a hard time finding the comment if I've missed it over time, but I'm figuring it out. Um, so yeah, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you guys so much, so much, so much for watching and following along in my journey. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!